Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some uh, projects to share with you. These are projects using the In Love Art Shop dies um, that they have shared with me this month. And um, I didn't use all of them yet. I'm going to be using the rest of them at a later time. I just want to um, do an update and I am still trying to get over a cold. So if I sound funny, um, just bear with me, okay? All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I want to share with you is the papers that I used making the cards that I made, okay? So these paper pads I had purchased from the In Love Art Shop, and these were um, in a previous haul, um, previous package that I had gotten from them. And this one is Love Love Forever, and this one's called um, Bronte charm this one is one of my favorites because of the flowers really pretty so i did use those i also used this paper pad from tuesday morning which is the chloe collection um, very very pretty i used some of the pastel colors in it and then i broke into my hoarding vault and i pulled this out now this is a first edition um tanya welton and it's a um luxury pack heavyweight cardstock it is so pretty and i got this from a store um a long time ago that used to sell like tilde papers and things and this paper pad is what one of my very favorites and i decided to break it out of the vault and use it because i said in 2020 i was going to start uh, using up my stuff and stop hoarding it so this paper is so pretty you guys it's got so many small and beautiful flowers in it um if i could find this and get my hands on some more of this paper i would love to get it um it's just so pretty it's double-sided look at how pretty that is oh i love it you guys so anyway those are the papers that i used during my um, project so i'm just going to move these over here okay set them over here a little bit Oh my gosh, I'm still, like I said, you guys, bear with me. I'm still trying to get better. All right, so the first dies I'm going to share with you are these little dies that they sent me. And they are heart dies that are stitched. And they have four different sizes. Hopefully you can see those. And I'll just pick them up so you can see a little at a time. So here's this one. And it does have the stitching. And it's really pretty. And then this one was sitting inside. And this one does not have stitching. It's just the same shape, um, just smaller. Okay, so we've got those two. And then um, we got this one here, which is um, a really big stitched. And then we have this one, which is smaller, stitched. And this one, which is not stitched, but and then smaller yet. Okay, now these are all a set. And then this final, this one here. Okay, so this is all a set. And I will leave the links down below to the In Love Art Shop store. I'll leave my discount code down below. And I will also leave the links to the products that I use today in this video. Okay, um, these are just some hearts that I cut out. I don't know if you can see the stitching. But it's they they cut no problem. I had no issues, and the stitching is very visible. It's they're beautiful dies. Okay, so let me share with you. This is what I made with those dies. So here, this paper behind here, the flower one is actually from one of their paper pads, and uh, I think it was that flower one, that Bronte of Bronte Bronte charm paper. Um, if I can find the links to those paper pads, I'll leave them down below as well because it's been a while since I bought them. But let me, I'll check the store and if I can find the links, I'll put them down below, okay? So um, here are the hearts. All right, and then here's the word love. And this is from my stash. I have um, a, this whole thing here. That's all the words love in it. So it's this one here, okay? Okay. Uh, this they're just different uh, love different sizes different fonts and so that's what I used and that die is actually it comes separate 
um, well, it doesn't come separate. It comes as one, but it, it cuts separate. So it cuts out the L and then the O-V-E. And I don't remember where I got this die from. It was obviously somewhere on AliExpress. But um, so that's the love I used in the middle. This strip here is from Tuesday morning. And I don't remember, I don't know if you guys remember me picking this up. It was in the craft section, but I think it was supposed to be in the wrapping section where the wrapping paper and stuff is. And it was actually a band. And I cut the band and I glued this down because I thought it looked so pretty with this. And it's really soft velvet. It's gorgeous. And then I decided I was going to put these little tiny CC Design hearts in between and different colors. So we have yellow, teal, pink, and um, different colors there, white. So that is my card with that die. And then here is the inside. So I just took a piece of paper with the writing on it couple more of the little hearts and it's light enough that you can put your sentiment over at the top and it will be fine you'll be able to see it okay and then of course I stamped the back so that's the card that I made with these heart dies all right um, and then I used this stamp set from in love art shop and when I showed my package, I had told you guys that I bought two of these abstract stamp sets because I had some ideas for them. And um, I'm going to show you the card that I made with this. Now, I've created my own background with this, and I'll explain what I did when I share it, okay? So that's the stamp set. Um, with this card, I also used my image um, was this image from La La Land. Okay, and she is Steampunk Marcy. And I also used um, the word imagine from the Heidi Swap um, dies. So I used the word imagine on this card. And this card is my favorite card that I have done in a long time. And um, I'm just so proud of it, you guys. <laughs> so here it is in all its beauty. <laughs> so I colored the Marcy up in steampunk colors. So she looks rustic and she looks steampunk. And she's got her green and aqua dress with some brown in it. And um, then I put glossy accents on her little binoculars here. Uh, um, that I don't know what they're called, goggles? Uh, no, not binoculars, they're goggles, I think. <laughs> and then glossy accents on her eyes. And I just thought she came out so beautiful. And then I used this stamp set. And what I did was I stamped it twice. I stamped it this, this side of the card and that side of the card. And I stamped it in VersaFine um, embossing ink. And then I heat the clear. I used clear embossing powder and put it over the top and heated it up. And then what I did was I took the distressed oxide inks in the same colors I thought would um, go along with her dress. So, and then I just rubbed those in with my little brushes and just kind of created the background. Now, when you emboss your stamp, it's resistant from the ink. So when I was done rubbing the inks in, I used like a, I don't, I didn't keep my ink out, so I can't tell you what colors they were, but there's like one of the browns, I think it was like a corduroy or something. And then I used a, um, a blue, bluish green. Well, it was blue. And then when I combined it together, it kind of made this little lighter green spots here in the blue. So um, I, I took out a third ink, but I didn't use it because I was happy with the way this one came out the way it was. And then when you're all done blending, you just take your little paper towel and rub over the top and it will make all the embossed parts um, brighter and whiter. You know, and you could it, the ink rubs right off it. So it's resistant. And then um, here's the Imagine. And what I did with the Imagine is I cut it out in foam. And then I cut it out in the teal paper. And then I cut it out in black. So when I put the teal on the foam, and then the black, I kind of offset it so you could see the teal underneath. And then I put glossy accents over the top. So it made it really, really shiny. And I love the way that came out. And then um, the little eyes that came out from the Imagine, the little eyes, um, the little dots were like 
I don't know, they were so tiny, they were gone when I scraped off the scraps. So what I did was I took these little brown enamel dots, they have glitter in them, and I stuck one above this eye and one above this eye in the Imagine. So really, really satisfied, very, very happy with the way this card came out, you guys. And then here's the inside. And basically all I did was lay that um, aqua color down and I distressed the outsides, um, the edges, you know, along the card it just makes the card look so grungy and steampunk. And I love the way it came out. So, and then I put my stamp on it. Okay. So that's the card that I made with that stamp set. All right. And the next one, um, die I want to share with you is this one here. And this die is like a half of a doily. Um, I guess, I don't know. It's like a half of a doily. It's really, really pretty. And then here's what it looks like cut out. Okay, it's very, very delicate, very pretty. I had no issues with this cutting out. I ran it through once, backed it through, and it cut, it was perfect. Pulled it out and it was perfect, okay? So that's that one. And with that, I created actually two cards with that one. Okay, so this is the first one. Let me move these over a little bit. Hopefully you can still see them. Um, this is the first one that I did with that die. And it says, hello, love. So here's some more paper from that um, that bronzy, bron bronzy, I don't know how to say it, you guys. It's B-R-O-N-T-E, Bronte. Bronte charm. So I don't I really don't know, but um, this is a more paper from that collection. It's so pretty. And then here's my die cut right here on the edge. And then what I did was I had I cut out another one. I just took some pieces of it and put it around the outside of the edges. Okay. Um, this is a Prima flower from Hobby Lobby from one of the P Prima packages. I just thought it was really pretty and went along with the the little. Uh, light pink inside the flower it just came out so pretty and then the hello love with some word dies in my stash I cut them out with foam and then I cut them out with gold glitter paper oh not glitter it's the mirrored gold paper and then I layered them on top so you you can see the foam um probably I'm not sure if you can see it um but the foam I um was watching Erica Scrap Diva 29 and in one of her videos she shared where she gets her foam from and again if I find the link I can share it with you but that foam is amazing um and I like it a lot so but I put in the hello love really pretty and then here's the inside so here's a piece of that paper and then I did a peach color here with a Martha Stewart punch on the edge so it gave it a little fancy um, top there and you have plenty of room to write and then of course I put my stamp on the back so that was the first card that I did with um with that die okay the second card that I did with that card was this one here I'm trying to figure out which way it went um it goes this way <laughs> um so this is it here so what I did was I took a 11 and a half by eight, eight by 11 and a half paper. And I cut it down and then I folded it evenly in the middle to make doors. This is a belly band on the card. So you can take the belly band off and basically I just punched the edge with the Martha Stewart punch on the top. And then this little flower is also a Prima flower from um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so that's the belly band that goes on that card and then this is the card you can see the doily I put one on both sides so pretty and then the card opens like this and I actually put the flowered paper on the inside as well and then the, the white in the middle and the sentiment that I used it reads how rare and wonderful is that flash of a moment when we re realize that we ha we have discovered a friend. Okay, so how rare and wonderful is the flash of the of a moment when we realize that we have discovered a friend? 
by William E. Rothschild. Roth, Rothschild. Yeah. So I have some sentiments that are quotes and things. And I just thought that that was so pretty. And it went so well with this type of card. And then, um, of course, I signed the back. I just absolutely love that card. Um, and it's actually the first time I've ever created a card that opened like that. I've seen them on Pinterest and on other channels, but I've never made one myself. And it was pretty easy. It wasn't too hard at all. So those are the two cards that I made with that die. The next die I'm going to share with you also, I made two cards with this die as well. And this die is um, a circle with hearts. If I can find the opening. Okay, um, so let me just show you the dies first. So you get this really large um, die with the hearts. You can see the hearts going around the edge. And then you get this die that sits in the middle, which also has hearts, but it's a different shape. This one has little hearts going around and it's got like a scalloped edge. And this is a set. And then it comes with this one. And this one has a, a smooth side but it has the hearts going around in the center. Okay, so this is the set of dies. And when you cut it out, you'll get this on the outside. Um, this part is in the inside. Now you can put it back in, or you could use it by itself. I thought both pieces are pretty nice, so I'll just keep both pieces. And then here, is the second one which you, you can cut it out like that and you have your little hearts and this is the inside piece which these little pieces could also be used for embellishments which would be really really nice for embellishments or you can stick it back in there use it like that or use it put a different color if you did a white piece like this and put the white inside the blue that would make a really cute front of a card as well okay <coughs> Hopefully I don't start coughing, you guys. I'm really sorry. Um, and then here's the small one with the smooth edge and the hearts. And then you get a plain circle that cuts out in the middle of that one. Okay. So those are the dies and that's what they look like cut out. And the first card that I made with that die is this one here. So adorable. Look at that little MFT. That's a little MFT bear. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I feel, I think I still have the, yeah. I have the um, stamp set here. So it came from this stamp set. Here's the little bear right here. And this stamp set is called Joyful Heart Bears, okay, by MFT. So I used the little bear, but here's the large die with the hearts going around it. And then the pink paper on the inside is from the Chloe collection, that pastel pink. It's so pretty. And I forgot to tell you, when you cut out that large or any one of those dies, all the little hearts that fall out, you can save them. And I put them in a little baggie. And then that's what I did up here. I used some of that pink paper for by Chloe. And then I put all the little dots, oh, I mean hearts that fell out, put them up there in the corner of the card. So you can use those as well. Don't throw those out. And then I have the Love Ya die. This is Love Ya. Again, I cut it in the foam and then I, put, I cut it out in the pink paper. And then I added some stickles to it to give it some shine and glitter. And then this rosette piece here. I had picked that up at Hobby Lobby when they were running their discount clearance. I got that for 99 cents. And it's just a roll of little uh, pink and green rosette it's so pretty and I used that and just kind of went diagonal with it up here and it separated the two pieces of paper now this flower paper came from that uh, specialty pack that first edition that I told you about and then here's the inside and basically I just used the scraps to create the inside you have room here to write your message and then in the back is my stamp okay so that is that card. I have one more card, you guys, and that's going to be it for this um, share. 
and I will come back and share the rest of the dies. I'm just going to lay this here because I'm running out of space. This is the final card. And I used the medium die in that set, and I used both pieces. I filled the circle back in with the piece that cut out. So I used the outside hearts and the inside. This paper is from the specialty pad. And then um, the sentiment, you make my heart happy. That came from, um, where's that stamp set? I took it out because I wanted to share it with you guys. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it was this one. Nope, this one says, oh yeah, you make my, yes. It came from this stamp set, which is new. I just got this from MFT. This was the Smitten With You. It came out for Valentine, at the Valentine release. So that's the one that I used um, to put You Make My Heart Smart, um, Happy at the bottom. This is just a... Um, I think this is a Prima flower as well. And I got that one, I think, at Michael's. And the pure innocent little girl, she is um, this one here. And this was the new one that just came out with the Valentine release from MFT. And she is called Soft Place to Land. So she has a pillow that she's squeezing. And it's called Soft Place to Land. And that's the stamp set. Okay. And then the inside is just decorated like that. Using the scraps of the paper. And then my stamp on the other side. <coughs> so that was it, you guys. Those are the cards and project. Well, projects and cards that I made with those dies. Now, what I have left in the package for this month is I still have the fan that I want to use. I still have the lollipop. I haven't used that one yet. And this is the little fence. So I have to use that one. And then here's that other abstract stamp set. And I'll use that. And then this little envelope. Okay. So these are the dies that I have not used yet, but I will come back and share those when I when I come back and do another um project share from in love art shop this die came in today in the mail and this did not come from the in love art shop but it came from Allie and I think it's pretty neat um it's this piece right here I don't know if you guys can see it this piece folds up halfway and it makes a tag with a pocket in the front so this is your tag it has the top of the circle and then this part flips up and it has a pocket. So it's a pocket tag. And then it came with this little heart piece. You can see that little heart piece in there. Um, and that's to decorate the front of the pocket if you want to use the hearts. And then it has two word dies. And they say love in, um, what's that one say? Forever, I think. Yeah forever and love and then it came also with a little flower and a little heart that you can um put on your little hole up here at the top of the tag you could decorate the front with and just put the flower over the top or the little heart over the top so this die just came in and i'll be playing with that sometime uh sometime soon okay you guys uh if you have any questions leave them down below i really appreciate you watching please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and if you um want to go over to the in love art shop and purchase any of these items or anything else in the store i would really appreciate it if you use my discount code and i will leave that down below that just should i don't get anything for it it just shares um it tells the store that they are getting customers from my channel okay so all that does is shows them that um you know, what I'm doing is working. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. And thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.